Hi guys, my name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna tell you why it's really important using multiple time frames on the charts. Otherwise, you'll be confused and don't understand why the market sometimes goes straight down when you're buying or why it goes straight up when you are selling. I'm gonna show you how you can use it to your own advantage and how it actually helped me to understand the market more than ever. Remember, I am no financial advisor, so you need to look everything up yourself first, but please continue watching this video and I'm gonna help you to understand the overall picture that you'll see on the chart. We're starting off with Bitcoin. We can look at how it looks on the weekly. I do have different time frames on the chart because we need to understand why the market is moving the way it does. So during the day, we did come back down and retested a previous resistance that we're having on the four hour right here. And after that, we could see the market actually spiking up to the upside. It came back up to a previous support that we're having on the daily. And the market actually didn't have the power to break that support. So what might happen right now, we, we just might continue to the upside, but you can see how the market reacts to it. And that's what we need to know. The market can break it, but then it just might come back down again. And if you know that the market is actually coming back down here and you're seeing on the lower time frames, just as you can see right here on the one hour that we did come back up, we broke the previous resistance on the four hour, we came back down and retested it. If you are seeing the market now breaking this support that we're having on the daily comes back down and retested, you will actually know that this is a support on the daily that we are at right now. And then if you and if we start to see the continuation to the upside and we're coming up to the major resistance on the weekly, remember the higher time frame, the more respected. When the market comes to this level, you will almost with a 100% see the market starting to continue to the downside and it just might come back up again and then break it. But then you'll know why the market is coming down because we are right now at the major resistance on the weekly. Looking at Bitcoin right now, we can try to take this Fibonacci from the low to the high and that's 5705 to the high 55093. So if the market now decides to come back down, you can see that we are having the 50 and 61% around the previous resistance that we had on the four hour. So if the market now decides to come back down to this level, we also know it's not just the Fibonacci telling us that this is where the market can come back and reverse from. You also see that we have this previous resistance on the four hour chart and then we just might see the continuation. So this just might be a pullback. I wouldn't recommend anyone right now to sell anything on Bitcoin because even if the market comes back down, we have no idea how far it will come. But if you're seeing the market coming down to, to the four hour resistance at 52775, you just might see the market then slowly continue to the upside. And when you're seeing that the market is coming back to this previous resistance that we're having on the daily around 55816, you will understand why the market is having trouble one more time to break it. But if it's breaking it and comes back down and retesting, you also understand what area we are retesting. This is why it's really important for us to use different time frames. We can also look at Ethereum here right now. We can see that we are right now at the daily resistance that we had a couple of days ago or weeks, you can see that Ethereum actually have the problems to break this resistance right now. So if the market now decides to break that resistance, you also understand that it can come back down and retest it and then you'll see the continuation. But if you didn't know about this resistance right here, and you started to buy the market, but now you're seeing the market coming back down to this area, but you have no idea why the market comes back down here. And then you see the market coming up and you were like, oh no, why? I bought here, the market came back down. It always does this to me. When I'm buying, the market is going down. When I'm selling, the market is going up. That's because you have no idea what's actually going on. You need to have the bigger picture. But understanding all of these levels, you will definitely have more clarity on what's going on and you can have you can be more confident because you know why the market is reacting the way it does. We can also take a Fibonacci right now from the low to the high and we're taking it from 3379 to the high and that's 3614. 
And if we're going back here too, we can see that we having the 61% at, at another for our right here that's combined with the Fibonacci levels. Remember, Fibonacci levels is a tool that we are using to see where the market potentially can come back down to and then reverse from. And having that together with a support or resistance zone is also a confirmation that this area is very strong. So for Ethereum right now, we could see the market either coming back down and if we're seeing the market respecting this area, we'll have another buy opportunity at the higher low that it will create. And then the continuation, if the market decides to break this daily resistance, we're having the retest against the resistance, which is also might have a continuation. But you have to remember that at that point, you'll be at the major resistance that we're having and that's the weekly. If the market comes back here, you will be prepared that the market can actually pull back down again to the daily resistance and then it just might break it. Try to use this because this is going to give you more confidence. You will understand how the market actually is moving from zone to zone. You will have a clue on what's going on and you will take advantage of that. Hope you understood this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you understood what I was talking about. Comment below if there's something you're wondering. Subscribe to my channel because I will go through these pairs every single day and right now we just have to wait if the market is coming back down down to the previous resistance that we're having or if it's going to break the resistance on the daily. Please continue having a good day and we we'll see each other in tomorrow's video.